Why? Why do I think that a boy is going to treat me nicer if he's known me for longer? You think, you think I would have learned this lesson by now, but no, here I am, still in the same situation at 24 years old. Damn! Oh, I don't know how long ago it was, and we chatted for eight hours straight, and nothing happened, and I was confused, and then he told me he didn't want anything serious. So, I invited him round to my house the other day. But he doesn't want anything serious, I was okay with that. I had a free house, I invited him round. <laughs> Do you think should be going down in that situation? Well, nothing went down. We just had a nine-hour chat. Like, what more of a green light do you want, bro? Like, what? Literally, I've given you a free house with me in it, yeah. and I've welcomed you in to my door. If that's not a green light, I don't understand what is. Anyway, he left and said, "Oh, it's your birthday on Thursday. Did you want to do something on your birthday?" I wasn't expecting him to want to do anything, so I was like, do you want to do something? He was like, yeah. I was like, okay, let's do something. It got to Wednesday and he hadn't said anything about it. So I was like, did you want to do something on like on my birthday or over the weekend? No problem if not. I just want to know because it's my birthday, so I'd like to organise my weekend. He didn't respond to me until the day of my birthday at like three o'clock. Actually, I was pissed off and I told him this because I am not one to hold back. <laughs> Apologise, he said sorry, he admitted he was in the wrong. I obviously said thank you for this because it's always nice to know that I'm right, which you know I always am, but I like people to recognise this. Anyway, I go back to him saying thank you for apologising, explaining my points a bit further because I felt like my first message was a bit angry because it and I was pissed off. But realistically, I just wanted to know, yes or no, do you want to do something on my birthday considering you asked me? But now he just hasn't responded for days. You've known me for a long time. I've helped you in situations with girls and I've listened to you chat on that sofa over there for nine hours straight like I'm your therapist. Actually, therapy isn't even nine hours. I've done more than what a therapist could. Just a little bit of You've known me for five years. I know a lot about you. You know a lot about me. Give me a bit of respect, but no. I'm done. Rejected. Hi world, it's my first TikTok and I have a really pressing question. I have been divorced for a couple of years after 33 years of marriage. Ah. And here's what I gotta know. Does it get easier? No! Because it's starting to feel like the whole purpose of dating is to go out with strange men to endure really awful things in order to come home and create crazy TikTok stories. I mean, somebody tell me there's more to this than that. I will show you how your future look like. This is it. Cat lady. You can't make this shit up. I said this in one of my videos and I'll say it again. The reason why most women divorce their husbands is the fact that they always think that there is a prince charming out there that is just willing to take them on with their kids and make their life simple and easier and they always deserve the best than who they are currently with. That's always the mindset of most modern women. So after divorcing the husband and coming out to the street, they finally realize that okay, it's not what I thought it was. I'll repeat it one more time. The only reason why most women leave their husband, especially married women, is the fact that they always think that they are better than the husband and they can do better than him. So they have the mindset of, okay, I can live and get someone better. But when they divorce, they realize that they now live in a real life, which men are not going to be checking for them. Let's keep going. I just had the slowest day at work and it's really starting to get to me now, y'all. Like, I'm trying to stay positive, but I'm sitting at the gas station waiting on my brother and my son because he's coming to pump my gas for me. I'm three miles to E, so I couldn't make it to him. And it's just like, I miss small stuff like having a man to make sure like my gas was filled or taking my car for me. Like, I don't even get car washes. I bought myself some flowers last night, y'all. Damn. They didn't even fill out the vase. Like, I want a man to go buy me flowers. Like, just all the things that, you know, I missed about being in a relationship. 
I miss having somebody to talk to. I miss having somebody to go out with. I miss cuddling. I miss sleeping with somebody. Just like a woman. I miss having somebody to check up on, like make sure they're okay. You ate today, okay? Like let me feed you, let me take care of you. And I miss having that same thing for myself. Like, I just miss having a man in my life. Like a real man. And then I feel like guys be wondering why I don't want to talk to them and stuff because I feel these like guys literally watch me go to work and bust my ass, you know, four or five, six days a week. I get right off, jump back into mommy mode, do it again day after day, and don't offer me, you know, no type of relief, no type of peace. Just want some a piece of. Why do y'all think that us women work so hard just for y'all to come and just? Well, I got a piece. Of for you i don't need that i don't want it like i'm okay bye bitch well that's it i'm throwing the towel in i'm done i'm not gonna try dating anymore tiktok has spoke and um some of uh, the comments from men men like you they told me that nobody wants a almost 36 year old single mom they only want the young 20 somethings without any kids you know so that's fine i guess i'll I'll be done. I'll just be at home sitting and sitting alone for the rest of my life because nobody wants me. Shout out to all the guys that are out there that are just not willing to take on baby mommies. I, I, I'm so proud of you guys, man. The thing is this. When you are broke, these women are not interested in you. So it's like a low value man. Broke means you are low value to them. So if you are also having a baby, you are, you are low value to men. That's just how it goes. And one of the things is this. The reason why women are getting or being more baby mamas in society is the fact that they will do all those things and they will still get relationships. So what does that tell you? Men are okay with that. So if you keep on giving them relationships, they will keep on being baby mamas in society. So what you need to do is just stop giving them relationships. Once she's a baby mama, she's married, just consider her married. Do not have anything to do with them. If you want to have fun with them, cool, but don't give her serious relationships. That's just all I can say. From my, my perspective, that's just how I'm seeing it. Let's keep going. Thank you for coming into my life. But most importantly, thank you for leaving it. You taught me that I can't let my walls down. We do not care. This man just said he don't want to talk. He don't want to talk, but he was talking when he was inside me, right? So you think you can't, so you think, so you think you could be inside me, but you can't answer my phone call? You're funny. You're so funny. Rejected. Guess who got stood up for a date? Yeah, it's um, awesome. I love this. I love uh, online dating. This is great. I waited for 20 minutes. He isn't here. He hasn't said anything. I look cute. Cool. Rejected. What is the average cost of a wedding in 2023? Yeah, I would probably say our average right now is in that 65 to $75,000 range in Nashville. Yes. 65 grand. 65 grand. Is that normal? Bite your tongue. I like, I, that's so much money. It is. Well, I mean, la I would say seven years ago, that was half of the cost. Miller points to inflation and supply shortages for the sharp rise in cost. And there's nothing quite like the price tag to bring couples back down to reality. Boy, ain't no way, boy. You definitely got to make money. Mm -mm. I months. didn't work this hard <laughs> and I didn't invest this much right. to date a broke man. Okay. Hell no. How much you invested? A lot. What's a lot? A lot of time and money. How much money? More than six figures? <laughs> uh, no, not, not six figures. Um, On my body, probably close to 100K. She belongs to the street. This is the reason why most women are single. Every woman thinks that she deserves someone that is rich, someone that is in the top five, top 10% of earners, and which is ridiculous. Mathematically, not all women will get husbands. So to make it seem like you deserve or you all deserve a high value man or something like that is just crazy. And the investment she's talking about is probably a BBL or maybe certain high education that she has just acquired. And she's thinking that because she has acquired higher education or she has done BBL, that made her deserve a high value man or some. This is crazy. Women don't know that men don't give a shit about the investment you've done on yourself. Fine, the BBL may help because it will make you look pretty. 
but it's just not we we don't give a damn about how much you have invested in yourself or something like that it's just not what it is it's about who you are can you nurture can you take care of share home can you cook the basic things can you bring me peace these are the things that men value so the investment she's talking about i think maybe it's probably just bbl that is going to be somehow tangible to her or that she can use as a leverage in relationship but apart from that your higher education whatever being it is is bullshit to men that's just the reality that's how men think when a man is i've never come across a guy saying that oh she's beautiful but she don't have a job so i don't like her i've never heard something like that men don't give a shit about your career what we want is just embedded it's just within you but unfortunately women will go out be looking for things that they will do to become better women for men which are just not outside the role wall. it's just within them Guys, thanks for checking in. And as usual, for all inquiries, keep hearing me on FidelisRoy2019 at gmail.com. I'm out and peace.